Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm so excited to do today's video. I finally got in my mail my Jeffree Star holiday collection. I'm so excited. I've waited like two weeks for this package to come in. Something like that. But I finally got it. So let's just jump right into it. So first what I'm going to show you are the liquid lips I got. I got two of them. But first, look at this packaging, guys. Like, glitter caps with like a glitter ombre with hollow writing. So pretty. So I got the shades. Sorry, my nose itches. Sansa Baby, which is a nice um, berry red. And Poinsettia, which is a metallic, like, holiday red shade. That's the best way I can explain it. And I did get the two Pro palettes. I did get the 24 karat Pro palette. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. I gouged my brush into that one. Oh, I was so sad. And then I got Platinum Ice. And this is what this one looks like. Super pretty, icy shades. Camera doesn't want to do it justice because they are so blinding. But you've seen it, you know what it looks like. So I think I want to start with the Pro palettes. Um, so let's do one from the 24 karat on this cheek and then one from the ice on this cheek, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Let's just, let's just dive into it. I'm actually going to start with my Platinum Ice palette because I'm obsessed. So these are what the shades look like. Oh, you can see it better there. You have Ice Cold, Glacier, Lavender Snow, Alien Ice, Pink Chill, and Canary Bling. So... The two existing shades from this palette are Ice Cold and Lavender Snow. And I only have Lavender Snow, so which is really cool because Lavender Snow is my favorite skin frost. But in this palette, I was really excited for Canary Bling and Alien Ice. I know that's such a weird shade, like a green, but I live for greens, so it's fine. And then let's just talk about this palette quick. So the shades you have in this one are Sarcophagus. King Tut, Dark Horse, Legendary, Giza, and Liberance. And the two existing shades from this palette are King Tut and Dark Horse. And I don't have either of those, so which is really nice. My favorite shades from this one, which I know two of them... Oh, th my three favorite shades from this palette, actually, are Sarcophagus, Giza, and Liberance. I know Giza is too dark on my skin because I've swatched it, but I can make it work, especially with eyeshadow and whatever. Liberance is fine. Like, you can tell I have highlight on, but I mean, I don't really care. Sarcophagus, that works perfect for my skin. So what I think I'm actually going to do is I want to take my Earth Therapeutics. It's just a small stipple brush. And I'm going to take the shade Sarcophagus, this one. Ooh, let me get in frame. Right here. And I'm going to put this one down the bridge of my nose. Just because I think that one's going to be super pretty. I'm just going to tap off a little bit of the excess. And just, oh my god, that is blinding. Like, look at that. And put it on the tip of my nose. And let's do this one on the Cupid's bow too. Might as well. Oh my god, I love this. I love this so much. I'm so happy I got it. So now let's dip into the Platinum Ice palette and I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Unicorn Highlighting Brush and at first I'm going to go into the Canary Bling shade. This palette is so hard to show because the packaging is so reflective but, oh the brush is in my, <laughs> it's right there. So let's just dip into this. Oh and I forgot to mention it has really nice big mirrors in the palette. Let's do this one on my right side. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that. It's blinding. Oh my god, I'm in love. I'm in love with this palette. Oh, I love Jeffree Star's formulation of Skin Frost. They're just so good. So, I'm sure you watched this video. If you didn't, why haven't you? Go watch it. But he's talked about how the shade... Pink Chill, the one right here, is more of a sheer formula. It's like his highlight topper, which I mean is fine. Like, not everyone likes a blinding highlight, so it'll be nice for your more subtle days. And you can also put it over any highlight. 
you can do everything with it. So like it's really not a big deal. Like if you think it's a big deal then get over it. So like it's fine. So on the other side of my face I'm going to do Alien Eyes. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm just flipping the brush over the other side I didn't use. So people like green highlight, but oh, I love highlight. I don't even care what color. I just love fun highlighters. Holy moly, look at that. That is blinding already. Oh my god. Like, I don't know how he gets his formula so good, but like, you really can't go wrong with a Jeffree Star highlight. Like, look at that. Oh, my hair is crazy. Like, that is beautiful. So here's Canary Bling. Beautiful yellow and Alien Ice. So, like, on the skin, Alien Ice isn't super green. But if you get in the right light, you can see the green iridescence in it. So, I'm just going to go over it one more time just because that's what I like. This is really pretty. So I can see right now in the sun shining through that there's a tint of green, which is fine. No big deal. Oh, look at that highlight on my nose, girl. This is gorgeous. So I'm just going to go through and swatch these for you. I did play with them last night and they do have the same buttery consistency as his other skin frost. So that's good. So I'm just going to go in order of the palette. I'll tell you the shades. As I'm going through them. Okay, so here we have Ice Cold, Glacier, and Lavender Snow. Beautiful. They're all buttery, creamy. Perfect. And I'm just doing like one, two in the pan. I just want to... Uh, let's do them here. Ooh. Oh, this was a bad spot. Oh, how am I going to do this? Oh, there we go. So here we have Canary Bling. Pink Chill. And, oh, hold on, let me do more of Alien Ice. That one didn't really come through. There we go. And Alien Ice. Right. Oh, horrible swatch. Let me do it in another spot. This was a horrible idea putting it right there. So, Alien Ice does not have a good swatch. I think that's just what it is. Because I'm looking at it compared to all the other ones. And it doesn't swatch good on the skin. But on the face with the brush, it comes off perfect. So, if you're thinking about buying this palette and you're going off my swatches, don't go off those. Because it's not doing it any justice. So, now let's swatch the 24 karat. I'm going to do it on my other fingers. Let's do this them right on my hand. So here we have Sarcophagus, King Tut, Dark Horse. So obviously Dark Horse is going to be way too dark for me to use as a face highlight. So I'll use it as an eyeshadow. Like, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want with makeup. Oh, I just stuck my finger in him. Okay, so now let's move on to the bottom row. Let's swatch these over my tattoo. Okay, so we have... Oh, which order did I do them in? Oh. Legendary, Giza, and Liberant. Super pretty. Love them all. I have no complaints. So, what I think I'm going to do since my Platinum Ice Palette did not swatch super good on my back of my hand. I'm going to swatch it on the palm of my hand mainly just the bottom shades because those ones i you couldn't see as good there we go that's much better so alien ice pink chill canary bling so that's much better you can see those swatches a lot better than on the front of my hand i think it's just because i'm so white that it's hard to see them because they are so icy but it's fine so, where'd they go? Oh, now I'm going to, I'm going to do hand swatches of these because I really, honestly, just want to wear poinsettia on my lips today. And my lips are already, already super dry because I was swatching a bunch of lipsticks last night. So, 
to give my lips a break, we're just going to put the one on I want to wear today. So first, I'm just going to swatch poinsettia on my hand. Always shake them good. That's what Jeffrey recommends. So I always love his applicators. This one's a little thick, but that's just because it's a metallic formula. So those ones always are thicker, I've noticed. Oh, so beautiful. So there's poinsettia right there. They don't have a smell, which is fine. But it's not patchy, nothing. Now, Santa Baby... If you watch this video, you know this one is going to need more finessing, which is fine. Doesn't bother me. Just put on one coat and then go through and let that dry and put on another. Not a big deal. Or always pair it with a lip liner. That helps. Oh, the shade's beautiful. Oh, my Lanta. I love it. And there is Santa Baby. I've really been into these shades lately. I don't know why, it's just what I've been liking. I usually don't go for reds, burgundies, all that stuff, but lately that's what I like. So I'm just going to powder over my lips. Just to mute them out because that's what I love to do. And I'm going to go back over with my highlight just a bit. I always have to line my lips and I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild's Willow. It's pretty much the same color as my lips, so it's not going to alter the um red any so let me just line my lips quick i'm not gonna fill them in or anything i'm just gonna outline them okay so we have the basic outline done so i'm going to take poinsettia and apply that to my lips. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay guys, so here we have it, poinsettia. So pretty, I love it. So I would honestly give this collection a 10 out of 10. Like the stuff I bought is perfect. Jeffree Star stuff is always really good quality. So I hope that review helped you guys. If you wanna pick anything up, let me know what you think down in the comments guys, bye.